Hello everybody, Backyard Bullion here for a live stream. We don't do very many of them, but when we do, we have a good bit of fun playing with our silver. So just gonna wait for some people to jump in and then we can get going and have a bit of fun. Chase B is in first. Hello, impromptu live stream. Thought we would do something a little bit different this Sunday. Starting to get a few people coming into the chat now. Hope everybody's having a good weekend wherever you may be, especially if you're in Texas with all of the weather, crazy weather. Derek Cannon, afternoon, good afternoon to you. Dictator Joke says shiny and Stuart H says hi. Hello to everybody. Now people are starting to come in. Mateo Man, Captain Longbeard, channel member. Thank you very much, my friend. Good afternoon to you too. Little bit of an impromptu uh, show today because we uh, just thought doing something a bit different for a change. We obviously do normally scripted videos that we upload, but every now and again we do a live stream because we've got some cool things to play with uh, on camera and it's uh, always fun to do a bit of a live stream every now and again. So uh, welcome in, let us know how your weekend's going in the chat and also where you're from because it's always nice to know what parts of the world people are joining in and seeing uh, our videos from. It's always interesting. I think last one of the last streams we had with people from Hawaii, we had then people from uh, the Far East, so it was like literally every part of the world. We've got, uh, got Boost in from Michigan. Welcome from Michigan. Uh, Chase B says, do I have any heart-shaped silver to show off? Would love to see it. The only piece of heart-shaped silver I have, buried on my workstation, is this one, which is spoken for sadly. This one is about to be stamped up tomorrow and then sent off out to its new owner. We've got the hallmark on it already. And this was a special gift that they commissioned for a friend's wedding. So that is the only heart piece of silver I have at the moment, I'm afraid. Uh, uh, who was it that asked for that? Chase B, yes, it was Chase B. Um, Derek says, shamed to admit you're in Sunderland. Nothing wrong with Sunderland, mate. Uh, Falkirk, Scotland, all the way from the top of Scotland. Uh, Savoy Truffle says, if I send you a tube of Cull Eagles, will you pour a 10 ounce hammered cube? The other 10 are payment from Maine, USA. Uh, we certainly do do that, and we can definitely work something out. Uh, the only problem I can foresee is if you're sending me silver and it's coming all the way from the US to the UK, it's probably going to get hit with some taxes when it hits the United Kingdom. So, well, yeah, we can theoretically look to do that kind of uh, arrangement. Please feel free to get in touch. Any uh, one that does want to get in touch, by the way, from today's stream, my email is down in the description below. Uh, let me just copy and paste that into the chat as well. And then anybody can email if there's anything that you guys see, like, or would like to ask about. So I've got a number of little goodies to play with here today. Um, the first two that you've probably seen on the table here are uh, new in the sense that we've not done uh, any of these puzzle boards for a while. And this big one here is the biggest one that we've actually ever done. The one prior, biggest, or pre biggest one prior to this was a 15 piece set um, that uh, fits in this medium sized frame here. But these are absolutely awesome, fully functional uh, puzzle boards, puzzle games, uh, you know, like the sliding square puzzles. And the idea would be to uh, get the Numbers, of course, in order. Uh, so let's just get these in here and I'll show you how they work because they are really very cool indeed. And Dad's even, so Dad makes the boards. If you don't know, if you've been watching our channel for a while and you don't know, Dad makes all of these incredible wooden boards and they are so, so good. I mean, the amount of skill that goes into creating seamless 45 degree angle joins like this is just incredible. So a big thank you and a shout out to Dad uh, as well. So yeah, as you can see, these are like fully functional. We've managed to get the sizes of the squares just right with the dimensions of the board. Uh, and it's just really satisfying. As you can see, we can get them going real quick. And if you've never played one of these puzzle boards, they are a really cool, fun thing to do. Now, one thing someone might wonder is why don't you just pick up all the pieces uh, and then put them back in and then just solve it from there. Well, apparently 
according to the maths of it anyway, only 50% of all iterations, if you just put them all in together, will actually be solvable because of a, a mathematical property. Um, I don't remember what it's called, but that is what it is. So um, we know it's solvable because it was solved and then we've messed it up. Um, so yeah, uh, so let's just head back to the chat very quickly. Uh, so we've got a few more people in, 37 people in the chat. Only five thumbs up, guys. Let's have more than five thumbs ups, please. Are onto this live stream here today. Stuart H says, love the oak frames, one of my favorite woods to work with. Oh man, man it's so cool. Let me show you this as well. well. We'll be playing with this in a little bit. Uh, it's the Tetris board. Oh, just look at that beautiful grain. It's almost like just magic, like the amount of skill that dads gets into that. Wow, well, look at that. We've got 18 thumbs ups already. It's all right. You all forget. I forget all the time to do it. I know I always harp on about it in my videos, but I forget to. So let's solve this little puzzle. Uh, just in case anybody was wondering, these puzzle boards that you see here are actually for sale, but they're not listed on my website yet because they're not finished. If you uh, look on the reverse of them, we've got them all hallmarked, but I haven't found the time this weekend to stamp each one with their weights and do the finishing. Normally as well, what we would end up doing is um, putting all of the uh, so the, the antiquing on the let on the numbering, so they'd be dark uh, numbers. So uh, we'll be doing that at some point, but uh, obviously for the time being, we haven't got that uh, sorted just yet. So we are the first two lines, by the way, first two rows are always the easiest to do, and then it gets a little bit more complicated from there. And one of the tricks is if you just get them all in a row and then you can move them around. Uh, not quite like that. We need to go like that. There we go. Five, six, seven, eight. Now, the next line is always the most difficult one. There's a little trick that I know that I'm going to use here because it's very difficult to um, sort of do it. Otherwise, you can be sitting here for ages doing it. So what you want to do is you want to obviously going to fill up the puzzle going 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So you want to get nine. 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. And you want to have the 13 in front of the 9. In fact, we've already got it in front. So you basically fill out the first bit here like that. And then you want to repeat the same thing. So you have 10 and 14, and you need to have the 14 in front of the 10. So in this particular case, they're not quite right yet. So we need to do a little bit of a, a cheeky shuffle like this to get the 14 and the 10 together. And then you go like that. And then as if by magic, it will all come together. The last three pieces will always come together, which is a cool little trick. So if you're ever on a game show where you are required to make a puzzle, slide a puzzle finished, that's how you do it. That's how you do it. It's really simple when you get the hang of it, but it's um, always like when you're under pressure, it's really difficult. I hate doing it when I'm trying to film like a regular scripted video because uh, I never get it right. My brain just doesn't quite work that way. So um, let's head back to the chat. So hello, everybody. Uh, just in case you don't know, we are... Uh, not often here on live streams, but we do enjoy doing them and it's always fun to see and interact with all of you. So if you guys have got any questions that you want to ask, anything that you want to know about uh, our silver, our channel or anything that we do, then feel free to ask us or just generally about silver. I mean, I know there's so much stuff in the world right now about silver that's going on and nobody really truly knows what's going to happen, but we can always have a good conflab about things. Um, so back to the chat, we've got lots of people giving thumbs up for my dad and saying well done to dad for all of the uh, the hard work he does. He's probably not watching this live stream, but he uh, does enjoy reading the comments on videos when we do big releases of things, which his work is primarily focused on. And uh, he does get a big, big grin on his face whenever we do uh, a nice thumbs up for him. So a big thank you to everybody for that. Um, so and then we've got uh, Bill G is asking, is the WSB, is the next WSB but for silver? I assume, do you mean, are, are they going to start targeting it? I personally don't think so. Um, I've covered this whole topic quite a lot on my channel before. I really can't see uh, Wall Street Bets being the one that actually makes uh, silver, you know, shoot the moon. It's just not likely to happen, I'm afraid. So I've done a big video on that. Bill, go and check out my channel if you have not seen it already. Uh, John Middleton says, uh, it's the silver, it's shiny, and it likes get forgotten. It is, uh, well, I, I don't know if this is what you were meaning, but basically silver is uh, kind of the ugly child of the metals world when it comes to the big players in the market. They always look less favorably on it, and gold is always the one that um, seems to get most attention, certainly from the big players. Uh, so I do kind of understand what you're saying there. Um, 
P Anon says, sail to Ireland, buy a thousand ounce bar VAT free, sail back to the UK and you've made 20%. Yes, but you've also made yourself a criminal because that, my friend, is smuggling and that's not good. You certainly, I mean, look, everybody can do what they want in the world, that's fine. I am very much on the uh, straight and narrow, I don't want to be committing any um, acts of... Tax evasion, uh, smuggling is essentially that, and um, you know that's just not right. Uh, if you want to do that as a private individual and not declare it, then that's your own prerogative. But um, I would suggest highly to everybody out there in this world, don't engage in smuggling. It's not legal. I mean, I just I fielded so many questions uh, about this topic, about whether or not you could just get this fat-free stuff from the continent, bring it back. It's just not great, and it's not a good idea. Certainly if you're a business, like if you're a business, then you know you have these responsibilities. You have to create uh, actual paper trails and accounts and things. So it's like, you know, yeah, theoretically, anybody could go to Ireland and pick up the silver and come back, or France, or wherever it might be. But, um, I mean, let's be bluntly obvious here. It is illegal to do so, so it's not a very good thing to do. Um, I mean, enough on that. So let's now go down the chat. I'm sorry, guys, I'm not keeping up with the chat exceptionally well here. Uh, Bill G is asking about Kit Kat bars. Uh, we make, by the way, everything is made to order at the moment. We are just so chock a block busy uh, with everything that we're doing right now. Uh, you know, we, we literally have hardly any time to just sit here and pour things. I've got, <laughs> in this last two weeks, I've prepared a parcel to go to Edinburgh, and the only two pieces that I've been able to squeeze in um, are just these two here, which are no, by no means finished. We haven't even stamped them or antiqued them or anything. Um, these are the only two I've managed to find a bit of extra time in my furnaces to actually uh, pour, uh, to have as retail items. So everything else is done to order. If anybody does want something, Pretty much the only things that we have in stock right now are going to be these puzzle boards in their different sizes and Tetris pieces, which we'll play with in a little bit. But yeah, at the moment, I'm afraid, uh, Bill, if you want to get a Kit Kat bar, you need to get in touch. You need to email me. I'll put my email address down in the chat again. Just email me and let me know. Uh, I'm just going to, I'm afraid I'm going to skip down on the chat now because I've, I've lagged so far behind on it. I'm missing out on a lot of people. And more, most importantly, I've missed out on West Coast's super chat. So a massive thank you to you West Coast for sending that through. It's very much appreciated. Um, any super chats are more than welcome here. But honestly, if you want to support the channel and everything that we do, just get in touch if you want to buy a piece of silver. I would always want to give somebody something for money. And I love it when people super chat, don't get me wrong. Who doesn't? It's wonderful. But if you want to buy a piece of silver from us, at least then you get something out of it at the other end. Um, so please feel free to super chat or just go on over to our website. You can actually go over to the website right now and pre-order uh, Tetra sets. You can actually go over there and do that now. But we haven't listed these puzzle boards on there yet. They are for sale, but we haven't listed up there. So now I've skipped the chat quite a lot. If I've missed anybody's questions, then please ask them again. I'm going to try and keep up with the chat as best as I possibly can whilst I uh, kind of surreptitiously solve this 24-piece puzzle, uh, which is going to be a little bit more challenging than the smaller one that we just did. Um, I am seeing, though, a few questions uh, about donuts. I think, Joseph Jones, you've asked me a few times in the chat. I've seen that. So silver donuts. Um, I don't really know quite how I do that. So... I mean, the closest thing, I guess, to the donut that I've got is like this giant um, Rolo round with a big giant hole in. I mean, but that's not really a donut. You can't get that effect unless it's that big. So that's probably not going to um, actually work too well. Um, so probably not me that could do it, but I'm sure there are plenty of other uh, very, very talented silver pourers out there that could certainly help uh, with that potential one. Uh, Cincinnati Reefer says uh, that he wants a set of each. A set of what, Tetris, or a set of puzzle boards? Either way, you can email me. You guys can hear the thudding in the background, by the way. It's my dog trying to get in through the door uh, to come find out what's happening. Why am I making all these random noises? Um, next question is, do I, do I have an emergency line for werewolf bullets? I'm afraid I don't do um, that kind of product for a number of reasons. One, I've always found that when buying things like the silver... Uh, bullet-shaped 
items just generally that are for sale, because there's quite a few of them out there on the market in different types. Um, shipping is always an issue, always an issue. And I've heard so many other people. I've personally been quite lucky and just had some delayed rather than actively um, sort of actively you know, confiscated. But I have heard some people um, have had their silver bullets confiscated in the mail. And that's just you know, domestic. It's not even going through like airport security. So um, personally, I will steer clear of those, I think. Um, James the Waffler says, a great name, by the way, I'm, I'm BYB the Rambler. Uh, James the Waffler says, would you create a special item in silver for a customer? We do that all the time, my friend. I started this, this uh, video showing this heart, which was just poured about a couple of weeks ago and is ready to be gone uh, or to stamp up for the customer who wanted it as a wedding gift for someone. So yes, we totally do. And if you want something, you have to email me because we are working to order at the moment. Uh, Button Basher says, just joined up on the Silver Forum and spent a day reading. Well worth it. I would highly agree. It's a fantastic place. Uh, we are, in fact, still selling platinum. If I just give another quick plug for my customer who's got some platinum for sale. We've got 10 ounces here, but I think six of these are uh, spoken for at the moment. I think from memory, we've got one bull, one falcon, one griffin, and two Britannias left for sale. So those are all sold. Um, so basically, spot price on or spot price plus twenty percent. I should say spot price would be a brilliant deal on the on the Britannias, and then there are uh, other sort of prices for these um, ones here. If you want any of those, there's details on the forum as well as if you just get in touch with me. But um, yeah, forums a great place. If you have not gone there, then I would head on over. Uh, Tall thing, Kev, one of our moderators has come in. Welcome, my friend. Don't worry about being late. It was an impromptu live stream live stream, live stream, I beg my pardon. Um, so yes, we, we did not plan it, so don't worry about being late. Um, Cincinnati Reefer says yes to both. Right, well, Cincinnati Reefer, if you are genuinely serious about picking up a puzzle board and or a Tetris set, email me. I'll put that link there, and we can talk more after the stream, if you so wish, or later this week. So um, Bill says he's had terrible trouble trying to get on the Silver Forum. Has the site been down over the last two weeks? No, I think it's been just fine. One thing that I have always uh, found with people registering on the Silver Forum is the password strength needs to be really strong, and it doesn't always make it obvious that it needs to be strong. Um, so sometimes you might end up um, like over and over trying to get your password set up, and it just won't do it for whatever reason. So maybe that's what's happened. I don't know. Um, Let's, I'm just very difficult to do this puzzle. I'm sure some of you are just sitting here watching me going, um, you know, do the puzzle, do the puzzle, but I can't do it and read all the comments as well. Uh, Jer Jeremy James says, is there a legal way to buy silver tax-free in the UK? Well, as we were talking about the Silver Forum a fair amount just then, um, yes, the Silver Forum, uh, private sales, um, you know, from individuals is pretty much the only way that one can, where's the 10 on this? Am I missing something? There it is. Uh, private sales, that is the way that you can buy um, tax-free silver because it's second-hand market and you're not going to be um, basically paying you know, for brand new stuff. So that's pretty much the only way. And I've personally found the Silver Forum to always be one of the single best places to pick up uh, VAT-free stuff. The prime example of the Platinums that I've just talked about a few seconds ago. These are all VAT-free. Uh, of course, there are some premiums on some of the earlier editions of the Queen's Beast series, but, you know, you don't pay the VAT. We're, we're offering the, the Britannias out at spot price, um, only plus 20%, and that is basically what a dealer charges you. Um, oh, do you know what I've done? I've not filled this row up. That's, that's very stupid of me. Um, so let's just put this in reverse, and then we can start going this way. Very difficult to do these when you are trying very hard to concentrate on a live stream, answering questions and everything. So six, seven, eight, um, let's go, let's go this way. So we've got six, seven, eight, nine, and then 10, and then that way and that way. So there we go, two rows done. Um, Paul Richards is off. He's leaving the stream. See you later, my friend. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up, even if you're just coming in for a few minutes. Uh, live streams are a, a bit of an oddball. If you don't want to sit here and listen to me ramble on inanely and struggle to complete this uh, puzzle, then feel free to just hang out for as long as you want and then head on out. But please make sure you hit the like button.
before you leave, that would be very helpful. It's actually incredibly um, amazing quite how much uh, like the like buttons and the comments actually help for the YouTube algorithms. It really is noticeable. So always do that for your favorite YouTubers. It's very, very helpful for them. Um, oh, this third row was quite easy. So that's done. Brilliant. So now we get to the tricky bit because the last two rows are always the hardest. But as I explained earlier in the uh, video, there's a little trick. So you want to match up these two symbols here. So number 16 and then 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So 16 and 21. And you want to make sure that the 21 is in front of the 16. And here they are not. So we have to swap them around. Uh, and it's quite easy to, to do. We just do this like that. And then they're in the right position. So you can leave them to one side now. Then we're going to do the same with 17 and 22. So 17 and 22. Now they're uh, in front of each other, 22 first. We'll come around like that. And now we do the same with 18 and 23. And they are in the correct format right now as well. So, I mean, it's, it's so easy when you know this cheat method. And then look, as if by magic, they go together and you can put your plug in and you're finished. Um, so it's so easy if you, once you know the pattern, when you know the solution, but uh, if you don't know it, it can be bloody difficult. And uh, the first time we made these about a year ago, it was very, very difficult. Um, so let's head back to the chat now and talk about these. So dissident agnostic. Oh, by the way, as well, that's what a couple of people are doing. If you've got a specific question you want to ask, use the at symbol and then backyard bullying because it highlights my name and I can see if you are asking a question. So it's a lot easier to see because there's quite a few comments that come in and it's not always easy to pick them all up. Uh, dissident agnostic says, what percentage of my fiat should be invested in silver and gold? Uh, I have always been a proponent of a maximum of 20% of your debt-free net worth should be divested into something other than money, basically other than cash. So whether that takes the form of gold and silver or other commodities, that's my, that's my thoughts and feelings on the matter. Um, David Carlisle is hitting the like button, thank you. Bill says, cool desk time filler that game. What do the individual pieces weigh? Each individual piece weighs anywhere from about 1.2 ounces, like the skinnier ones here, 1.2, to the thicker ones where about 1.5, 1.45, something like that. So an entire set, um, I was going to grab my phone and do the, uh, the, the maths, but I'm streaming off my phone. So an entire set would be uh, 24 pieces times of probably an average of about 1.4. So 33 ounces, so just over a kilo. Um, so quite a, a hefty weighty set. I mean, it is, it's weigh, it weighs a fair amount, so that's for sure. Um, Proview82 Pro Pro says, love what you do from sunny Southern California. Welcome in to you. Tyler Collins, what silver do you I, do I use to melt my items that I make? I use silver casting grain, uh, which I will just grab a little pot of. Here we go. I use silver casting grain. Let's just take out a few of the scrap pieces that are in there. Well, throwing things around, there you go. It's silver casting grain, uh, which is sourced from Canada. At least this stuff was, um, anyway, sometimes it'll come from uh, Baird & Co in the UK and they will often take you know silver from whatever sources they can. They refine it up to four nines or just shy of four nines, three nine high purity silver. But most of it is coming from the Canadian Royal Mint of all places, which is really very, very cool. So Canadian silver is where we, uh, where we are. So uh, I'm going to skip down the chat a little bit further. I'm just going to go through all the ones where people have highlighted my name. So if you do have a question, please highlight my name uh, and I'll see it. Uh, Copper and Silver Stack says, how is my day, sir? Thank you. My day has been very good. I've actually done uh, a little record on my stationary bike, watching some Netflix, which was really good. I did 35 kilometers, which was nice to do. It's the first time I've gone over 30, uh, well, sort of 35 plus since Christmas. So getting that Christmas weight back off, really nice to do. Um, Tyler Collins says, uh, oh, I've done that video. Uh, sorry, done that question. What silver do I use to make? Uh, Luke Lewis is asking, when will I do a group order? I'm afraid group orders are a thing of the past, my friend. They are no more, unfortunately, because of the because of the Brexit situation, because of the UK's new sort of insistence on uh, charging tax every time something comes through their borders. Uh, so I'm afraid it, they are a thing of the past, uh, unfortunately. That is quite sad in a way for me but also quite relieving in a way because they got to a point where they were a little bit out of hand somewhat and um 
you know, the last couple of orders we did were just so big and so stressful. Uh, you know, I, obviously, I always worried that something would potentially go wrong. I mean, what if, like, uh, FedEx UPS lost the parcel and £30,000 parcel of other people's money? I would just be, oh, yeah, not good. So the fact that they're not happening is both good and sad uh, in a way. But, you know, it, it is what it is. Uh, now I'm going to start playing with my Tetra set. And this board, by the way, is already spoken for, but uh, we are making things to order. So if there is something that you'd like to order, then you can do so. You can order Tetris sets right now. In fact, as you can see, we've got a whole bunch of Tetris pieces in stock. Every Tetris piece in here is hallmarked and ready to go. So we can actually look to make some. Um, let's head back to the chat. So the last question that was highlighted was Luke Lewis's. So I'm just going to see and pick a few others. Um, what are those sealed bags called? You have Britannia's in my friend. They're just, uh, I think they're just like coin, uh, well, they're just coin holders. I don't exactly know. These are not my coins. Uh, they are being sold on behalf of somebody who sent them to me because they don't have a seller profile. They wanted to look to try and uh, release their locked up funds in these coins uh, and they sent them to me. So, you know, it's one of the great perks of being me. I've got people who will quite willingly send me, you know, £10,000 worth of precious metals to sell on their behalf, which I find, uh, you know, it's amazing, really, that I, I've been able to sort of have that kind of in my life, which is quite cool. Anyway, so, yeah, they are just coin flips, I think. Um, Reese Williams, uh, OK, it's something like 563 for 25 ounce Britannia coins from the Royal Mint, but don't forget the Royal Mint prices will not have the VAT uh, showing on them before you check out. So add 20% on top for whatever you see on those raw mint price points. Uh, definitely one not to forget because that 20% will rack up properly quick. Um, so definitely not as cheap as you might think. Um, of course, like for the rest of people around the world, it's really easy to get decent price silver. Um, so playing with the Tetra set, this is one of my favorite pieces uh, that Dad and I have teamed up to make with these uh, these incredible boards that Dad does. Uh, let's just see in the chat. I'd love I love it for you all to smash the one button if you absolutely love these boards that Dad does. Uh, you know, just the the amount of work and energy that puts is put into these by Dad is just incredible, and he's just so hard working for everything. So big big thank you to him, and I know that he'll get a kick from. Uh, when I when I bring him later on today and tell him oh, I did a live stream and all these people were shouting out for your boards they are absolutely beautiful Re and I can't stress like how good they really are they are just so so pretty so look at all these ones thank you so much to everybody got boost pro, uh, pro view bo uh, button basher Matteo man James Mackey ES trading gives three ones um, Knight Templar I mean Knight Templar I'd prefer it if we don't um, talk about Politics. Politics is the most divisive subject in the world, and I, it's just no point in talking about it on this channel. So if you don't mind, please, not talking about that. It would be wonderful. Um, Luke Lewis is asking, why don't we do a group order on a UK dealer like Blair Bullion? I have looked into it, and I have researched it, and a lot of the dealers out there will offer price breaks on things like monster boxes. You know, you can go there and you can buy one uh, ounce of silver for whatever price it might be, 20, I don't know, something like 24, 25 pounds an ounce or whatever. Then you get charged the VAT on top. Or if you buy like a monster box, it comes down to 22 pounds an ounce for each coin. So yeah, there are these price breaks that you can get from bullion dealers. And I have looked into that, uh, Luke, and you, we could theoretically do it, but I still feel like there's going to be still a lot of people who will not be keen on buying silver at the VAT included prices, even if it is a base price of £22 an ounce, simply because like half the people that we'd be targeting with these kind of group orders would be um, people who are on the silver forum or people in the community here who know about these uh, the price points that they can get from the second-hand market. And right now, you can go on the silver forum and you can buy silver for £20, £23 an ounce delivered. So why would you want to have it from a dealer, uh, you know, £22 an ounce plus the 20% extra on VAT and 22 times 1.2 is what, 
you know, you're going to be looking at £28 an ounce probably from a dealer. Um, I mean, I'm just plucking those numbers from memory. Of course, they might vary. And yes, certain dealers might want to offer additional kind of promotion level discounts because we'd be doing an unboxing and shouting them out. But it's just still not going to fly. And I don't think there'd be enough interest. And the last thing I would want is to sort of, you know, say to a dealer, yeah, I think we're going to get like at least two monster boxes worth of, of interest. And then they're just not be any uh, and people and the, the dealers more specifically be kind of left there sitting there going oh well this this hasn't worked out particularly well what's what's all this about so that's kind of the reason why um so yes uh knight templar i'm just gonna i'm just gonna hide you from the channel for now my friends if you want to come back and start commenting then please email me and don't talk about politics and just silly things so just please don't uh, a few other questions Copper and Silver Stacker says, I have two more questions. I'm getting back into coin roll hunting. And Silver, what is the cheap way to get silver? Do you have any advice on making YouTube videos? I, I just recorded one. I uh, don't really know about getting the silver. I mean, in the US, of course, you still have silver in circulation uh, to some extent. And it's easy for you to go to, uh, you know, sort of a bank and order coin rolls. And that's certainly something you can do. In terms of the YouTube side of things, uh, you know, YouTube is one of these things where you just got to get on it. You just got to get on it and do it. If you look back at some of my first videos, um, they were awful. They were cringeworthy. I hate going back and reading, uh, you know, watching my first videos. I am not a good presenter of facts in my first videos. Um, but my skill has evolved over time. And yeah, you might get a couple of bad videos right at the start, but, um, you know, by the time you've done your fifth, sixth, seventh, tenth video, you'll feel more confident, you'll do it. And that's um, my only real advice for it. In terms of the logistics and stuff of actually uploading videos to YouTube, it's a fairly easy platform to do that and um, to manage everything on. So it's definitely worth doing. And it's a really good hobby to do. And I would highly recommend it to anybody out there. Um, Ga Gasdorfic Muncher, another fantastic name, says, how long does it take to make one board? Well, Dad uh, did a load of different experimenting right at the start when he was making the very first boards uh, to try and work out the best ways to do it. And the first boards would literally take him all day to make one that actually was worthwhile having. He's now got things a little better with his setup and his... So he hasn't got a workshop, so to speak. He's got a series of garden sheds. Uh, and actually his preferred method of working is to set up a big gazebo out in the back garden to shade him from the sun and work out there and bring his table saw outside, which to be honest is the perfect thing for, for dad to do. Just gets him out. Wonderful. Um, so yeah, that's the kind of you know, work area he's got. And now he could probably, you know, knock out one of these boards. I'd say all told, it's probably about four hours worth of work um, to get the wood cut. Uh, and then the, the, the most difficult bit is bringing it together, obviously, and joining it. And now you, you would glue it and it would be basically left overnight to actually glue together. So that's not really counting in the manufacturing time, uh, but definitely left overnight to kind of seal together with clamps on. And then he will sand it also like these edges you'll see here. This is all done by belt sanders that he'll have this frame and then he'll you know, hold it on the belt sander to get the right angles, to get the right nice finish on them. Uh, and then of course, sanding with finer and finer sandpaper to get this really smooth finish. And it's so smooth, like it's really, really good. So all told, loads of work actually that goes into them. But um, that's very bashful about this and he won't, uh, he won't ever charge me. I always say to him, you know, make sure you give yourself a good wage on it and then tell me how much you want for each piece uh, and he over oh sorry he always undercharges himself so uh yeah it's really difficult james mckay is asking is he a carpenter no he's not he's not a carpenter but he's always been very good with his hands always been tinkering and here's a little unknown fact for all of you out there um dad uh, actually did a bunch of silver working back in the 1970s in italy so dad was a teacher in italy in the 70s and um he was doing all of these um, design and technology projects using silver and uh, some of the very first videos I've got is actually using some of the scrap silver sheets that dad had left over stuck in a drawer for you know 40 years 30 years and um, he got them out when I started pouring some silver and was like ah you know I remember these and so we, we made a few pieces out of them which was really cool it's like Italian 90% silver or something or 85% silver is really weird but it's it's so cool so cool um, so Wilson is asking, have I got any tips for somebody who wants to get into buying silver? Um, well, my, my biggest tip is always buy cheap. Buy as cheap as you can get. Um, if you're going to buy it, preferably at spot price, preferably below spot price. 
that's always the best thing to do. Never as well buy above a you know sort of budget that you might have that I always say you need to have money in the bank uh, for a rainy day. Like so don't go and buy stuff and then be forced to sell it. That's the most important thing. Always plan ahead on that side. Uh, Luke Lewis is saying, do I think we'll, uh, silver will be 50 an ounce in the future? Well, yes, at some point I do think it will be 50 pounds an ounce. Will I commit to a time frame on that? No, because nobody really knows. I personally can't see uh, silver getting to uh, 50 pounds an ounce anytime soon, but I will happily stand like a man with an orthopedic shoe, corrected, if uh, that actually happens. So who knows, my friend? Um, so let's head back down through the chat a bit more. Um, Matteo Man has yeah, said a good thing there. Don't buy when everyone else is buying. So right now, in the last couple of weeks, there's been all of these massive like hypes and everything from the Wall Street bets, from the silver squeezers, and dealers are just like you know, dealers as well. Of course, they're businesses and they have um, you know they have money to make, and that's fine. I, I'm not begrudging the fact that dealers make money, but at the same time, dealers. Um, were part of the hype. They were part of the problem in that they were saying that um, they had no stock. They were running out of stock, which is not necessarily as honest as you might think from these dealers, because with all due respect to the dealers, a lot of them actually came out the very next day after all of these, or weekend after that, and said that they could not yield the rest of their stock because it is essentially their leverage against their own hedge. So they definitely had stock. They just decided not to sell it because they felt it was going to be too risky for when they restocked later in the week. So it, it, the hype, Matteo Man makes a really good point. Don't buy when the hype is there because you'll just get stung by the higher premiums, which have followed through for the last couple of weeks right now. Um, talking heads off. Uh, thanks, my friend, for stopping by and uh, chatting with us for the last couple of minutes. It's been fun to have you here. Johnny Monkier, uh, you make beautiful silver, but damn, I bet it's not cheap. Look, you know, if I'm saying in my video here, if anyone wants to get into silver, buy cheap. Yeah, don't buy Hample silver. Don't buy my silver. You know, a lot of work goes into these pieces. A lot of a lot of time and energy and expense with the hallmarking goes into these pieces. Uh, it is not an easy thing to do to pour silver. You need the equipment. And, you know, look, here's, here's a fun thing. Uh, so old school in this house that my furnace, my very first furnace, the small one, is the tripod I'm using for my camera. Um, you know, the furnaces are not cheap. They don't last forever. They run out. The graphite crucibles will burn out as well. So there's a whole host of different expenses that go into making a piece of poured silver. So really don't buy poured silver if it's, uh, you know, for you as an investment. Buy poured silver if you think it's something that you will like and hold for 20 years because there's a very good chance that whatever price you buy it at right now, it'll still be worth an awful lot more than it was than now. But it's certainly not going to be as cheap as some of the other pieces of silver out there. So that is always what I say. And if people do want to buy our poured silver, uh, then do it for the right reasons for yourself. Don't buy it as uh, an investment. And whilst there have been recently quite a few pieces of backyard bullion silver I've seen go for sale on eBay at ridiculous prices. I've seen a couple of my um, 2019 pieces, one of which went for £58 an ounce. Um, it was just ridiculous. So there's loads of uh, you know stuff that's just crazy at the moment so just be careful don't buy for the wrong reasons uh, and make sure you buy for the right reasons for you not for everybody else uh, dissident agnostic says do you think high retail activity will expose the oversupply of paper assets no the two markets are completely separate and this is one thing that a lot of people don't realize that the paper markets uh, are paper for a reason because if you've got quite literally metric tons of silver being bought on contract. You don't want to take delivery of those metric tons of silver. The whole point is that you buy the silver without ever having to take delivery of it. Because if you get, I mean, just one metric ton of silver, that's a, that's a big pile of silver, let me tell you. It's going to be expensive to ship. It's going to be incredibly expensive to store. You're going to have to have huge security, a site to store it. And that's just for one contract you know if you guys are if you're a wall street trader and you've got 50 of these contracts 100 of these you know 1000 of these contracts you're going to need a shit ton of space to store it secure space as well it is not practical so they are two separate markets and anybody that thinks that somebody out there is going to sit there and demand delivery of their silver it's actually going to probably end up bankrupting them with all honesty so um 
uh, Apothecarion says, any prediction when the Royal Mint will bring down recently added premiums on their silver? No, same with dealers. I think they're going to hold them up for another couple of weeks, couple of months, and eventually one of the big dealers will start by putting their premiums lower and then everybody else will have to compete and so on. So it's going to take a bit of time, but they will come down again. Uh, Johnny Monkia says, could you give me an estimate on the far left and middle boxes, how many ounces? This one is approximately 33, 34 ounces. And this set here is approximately 42 ounces from memory. Uh, this kind of set is, this one here is actually spoken for already, but this kind of set we can retail and it is live on our website right now. I'll just put a link into the chat. You can go and pre-order one. We, uh, as I said, you know, in, in the chat, in, in this video here, our silver is not cheap. Our silver takes a lot of energy, effort, time and money to make, especially these where each and every single piece is individually hallmarked and poured. It takes forever to pour them. So it's priced at £1,750. That includes the board, includes worldwide shipping. It's not cheap, but it is something unique and special. That is all I will say on the matter. Um, Phonite says, do you think it's possible to create small miniature silver soldier men like Warhammer? Yes, 100%. And if you want uh, that kind of thing, I'll just find Will's attic. And he is your man for that because he has got some absolutely incredible things that he has made and he does Warhammer figures too. And I was very, I'm very keen to get some from him at some point. I just haven't had the chance to do it. So Will's Attic for any Warhammery 3D figures, quality, quality silver pourer. Uh, got Booster saying BYB silver will bring crazy premiums, uh, but you, I don't know, you're nuts to sell BYB silver. I mean, it's my job, that's what I do. I pour silver, I guess, I mean, that's, you know, I've, I've got silver here, I've got silver in my stack, I've got investment coins. That's part of my business, part of my livelihood. It's what I do. Um, got Boost is asking also about shipping to the USA. Uh, for the bigger sets, it's kind of included in the prices that we look to charge. But for smaller items, uh, like for example, if you just wanted to have one, one heart, something like this, shipping to the US is probably about £12, uh, maybe £13, £14, pounds, depending on the weight of the piece. Uh, it's insurable as well, which is really good. So actually not quite as bad as people think. Um, Dynamo Explorer says, will, will I go further into sterling silver or flatware to buck the centrism on bullion? Um, so working with metal that is not 909 is actually really difficult. The, uh, the sterling stuff will come out really like gr grotty, grimy, dark, black and not pleasant stuff. So uh, it's not pleasant to work with. It, it requires a different kind of skill set and a different set of like uh, equipment as well that's not always practical. So yeah, it's very, uh, very difficult. Um, got boost is um, still talking. Oh, it's not. Talking. Oh, right. Those people. I see what you mean. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it is what it is. Some people buy uh, buy my silver and have you know, tried to flip it on eBay for profits. Um, that's not what my product is designed for. Our products are designed to make people happy, to enjoy. Um, and you know, if they want to try and sell it at some point in the, in, down the line, then eBay is probably actually the best bet of getting the best prices for it. And certain items will get better prices than others, just from aesthetics and what they are. So, you know, each to their own. I, I personally don't begrudge anybody who wants to sell a piece of mine that they've got. Uh, Johnny Monkey is saying the middle box is very decent price. Uh, I haven't actually priced this one up because I haven't got the weight on it, but it will be approximately, I mean, I, I can give you an approximation. So it's it's roughly 33 ounces um, plus the board. You're probably looking at 1,350, something like that. If I do uh, the weight calculations on it, that's probably what I'd retail it roughly at. Uh, 1,350 pounds, that is, not dollars. Um, so, yeah. Uh, Johnny Monkier, if you have a middle box when he gets his stimulus check, he might consider. Um, man, use your stimulus check for, um, you know, for, for keeping yourself going. I suppose if you've got money elsewhere, then that's fine too. I don't know what the US stimulus checks, whether they are for everybody or whether they're for people who are means tested, I don't know. But personally, I would say just uh, be, be very careful with anything that you buy. Make sure you've got your reserve funds in place and are uh, ideally debt-free. Debt-free silver is the most important thing that you can do. Uh, Bill, I can say as a BYB customer, the goods are top quality, as is the service. I love my pirate round. Thank you, Bill. That's very kind of you to say. 
Um, I really do appreciate that feedback and it's very nice. Uh, we do actually have over on the Silver Forum a, um, a sort of a feedback section, uh, like customer testimonial section. If you want to head on over uh, and find that, you can write a proper review if you so wish. It's up to you. You don't have to, but thank you very much for your feedback. Uh, do I think I could make a Royal Green Jackets badge out of silver? So, Reese, my, my skill, my niche is graphite mould stuff. So if it can be made into a graphite mould, then theoretically, yes, I can do anything. However, a lot of those type of things are very intricate and they don't often work great. I've tried Delft Clay in the past, a long time ago. I haven't done it out for a while, but it's never really been that... It doesn't yield great results for me, so I've always steered away from it. It's not the thing I do. Other people do it very well. Other people do it significantly better than I could or would, and I would say it's best to look, go and look out for some of those other people that might be able to help you with that. So I personally would not be able to do that. So we are about to start thinking of wrapping up because I've got two very hungry dogs upstairs sitting very quietly with Mrs Backyard Bullion out of the way. She's very nice to give me free reign of the downstairs area to actually do this live stream this afternoon. Uh, so I'm going to start thinking about wrapping this up. If anybody's got any last questions or comments or anything that they would like to do, or if you would like to say thank you for the stream and support with a super chat or with a channel membership, I'll just do a little plug for the channel memberships. If you've not um, actually seen what our channel memberships are, then I'll put a link. Here is the link. It's, uh, oh, no, there we go. Uh, you can see some of our uh, backdated uh, behind the scenes videos. We do, we've done about five or six of them now. So there's exclusive content available for everybody. In addition, we give um, free, not free, beg your pardon. Um, well, free previews. We give previews out to customers of products that we are uh, putting up for sale. BYB branded stuff. And you know, you get first dibs at it and you get your membership feedback as a, as a discount basically. So Lots of people are taking advantage of that for things like the BYB branded bars, and we've got a batch of one ounce versions coming very soon. So head on over to the uh, the join section uh, to see all of our membership perks. If you have not done so already before we wrap up this stream, hit that thumbs up button. That would be very helpful for everything that we do here on the channel. Uh, otherwise, if you are interested in any silver that we have got, either listed on our website in the form of Tetris sets, then head on over and check those out. Otherwise, email me. Uh, we make things to order. I seem to remember jo uh, Joseph Jones saying that he would like to have a heart. If you want to have a custom-made piece for you and it's not in stock on our website, there's a good chance that it probably won't be in stock on our website anytime soon. Just get in touch, email us. We can make things usually about a three to four week turnaround right now for everything to get it done. So lots of potential stuff to make and to have. Uh, last little plug as well for the platinum that we've got left for sale. We've currently got five pieces of platinum uh, ready to go. Uh, the platinum Britannias are your best bet, I would say, for the cheapest platinum on the market, for physical platinum on the market. Realistically, though, it's going to only be UK customers, I'm afraid, but 20% over spot price is the price. The live price this weekend is £1,095 for each of these, which for a delivered piece of platinum is going to be at least 20, 25% cheaper than anywhere in the UK. Um, Johnny Monkey says he wants, I read that as a set of silver beasts, and that is what I shall say. You are going to get your set of silver beasts. Uh, but if you want platinum beasts, we also have platinum beasts available. We've got a griffin, a, um, a griffin, a falcon, and a bull. So that is, uh, if you are interested in any of those, then please let me know down uh, in the, either the comments or you can email me. The best thing to do is email me. So that is going to be it for me today. I've timed it quite well as well because the, uh, the, the light is starting to fade rather quickly. So a big thank you to everybody for joining in today uh, for this stream. Uh, Johnny Monkier, if you need a griffin, then just email me, my friend. If you're in the UK, we can certainly hook you up. Uh, the asking price that the seller wants for this is 1300 uh, but I'm sure he'd be open to deals if you perhaps wanted to pick up any of the like Platinum Britannias as well. Otherwise, I just want to say a big thank you to everybody for joining in today's stream. It's been fun. It's been cool. It's been really good to ask, um, ask and answer a load of your questions. Uh, as always, thank you all for watching. Uh, we really, really love it. And we'll see you on the next video. As always, make sure that you like, share, comment and subscribe for more.